kids, my name is Laura Pistachio. I'm a fantasy drag performer for Drag Fairy. I'm going to be reading with you today. I'm very excited about that. We have two books and a little activity thing together. I hope you're excited. Our first book is called All Are Welcome by Alexandra Penfold and Susan Kaufman. And this book follows along both children in a school where everyone is welcomed, no matter their race, religion, or background. Pencils are sharpened in their case. Bells are ringing. Let's make haste. School's beginning, dreams to chase, all are welcome here. No matter how you start your day, what you wear when you play, or if you come from far away, all are welcome here. In our classroom, safe and sound, fears are lost and hope is found. Raise your hand, we'll go around. All are welcome here. Gather now, let's take part. We'll play music, we'll make art. I like to make art as well and listen to music. Do you like that as well? We'll share stories from the heart. All are welcome here. Time for lunch. What a spread. A, different, a dozen different kinds of bread. Pass it around, everyone's fed. All are welcome here. Open doors, rush outside. We will swing, we will slide. We'll have fun side by side. All are welcome here. We're part of community. Our strength is our diversity. A shelter from adversity. All are welcome here. We will learn from each other. Special talents will uncover. There is a big world to discover. All are welcome here. So much to learn, so much to do. And when the busy day is through, can't wait to come back. Start anew. All are welcome here. Head for home to get some rest and greet tomorrow ready and fresh. Our time together is the best. All are welcome here. You have a place here. You have a space here.
You are welcome here. There's a long page right here. And that's the end. I really like this book. I think it really has an important message of inclusivity and diversity because every one of us is different in some kind of way. And it is really important to have a space where we can all be welcomed and all feel accepted no matter our differences. We're gonna take a break now and sing a little rhyme together. It's called Happy to Be Me. It starts with the color my, of my hair. So white is my hair and then the color of my eyes. So I'll say brown are my eyes. And you can fill in with whatever color your hair and your eyes are. And then it is where do you live? I live in Saskatoon and just the right size. My name is, you say name? My name is Mara, and as you can see, I'm very happy to be me. I'll do it again, all just myself. White is my hair, brown are my eyes. I live in Saskatoon, and just the right size. My name is Mara, and as you can see, I'm very happy to be me. Are you ready to read the second book? This one is called The Day You Begin by Jacqueline Woodson and it was illustrated by Rafael Lopez. This is a really pretty book as well. I really like it and it's really well illustrated. It also talks about our differences and how uh, they can be really beautiful. For Isaiah, Nell, and Josie, to Santiago, Moon Whisperer. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you. Maybe it will be your skin, your clothes, or the curl of your hair. There will be times when no one understands the way words curl under your mouth. The beautiful language of the country you left behind. My name is Rigoberto. We just moved here from Venezuela. And because they don't understand, the classroom will fill with laughter until the teacher quiets everyone. Rigoberto from Venezuela. Your teacher says so soft and beautifully that your name and homeland, homeland sound like flowers blooming, the first bright notes of a song. That's really pretty. But There will be times when words don't come. Your own voice, once huge, now smaller, when the teacher asks, what did you do last summer? Tell the class your story. We went to France, Sheila says. These shells come from a beach in Maine. A boy named Jonathan holds up a jar filled with tiny shells so fragile 
They look like they'll turn to dust in your own untraveled hands. My whole family went to India, Spain, South Carolina, each souvenir a small triumph of a journey, their travels going on and on. And as you stand in front of that room, you can only remember how the heat waved as it lifted off the curb in your days spent at home caring for your little sister who made you laugh out loud and hugged you so hard at nap time you can only remember the books you kept on reading long after she had fallen to sleep and in that room where no one else is quite like you. You'll look down at your own empty hands and wonder what good, what good is this when other students were flying and sailing and going somewhere. There will be times when the lunch your mother packed for you is too strange or too unfamiliar for others to love as you do. When even your own friend Nadja will wrinkle her nose and say, what's in there anyway? And you'll wonder how she doesn't see the ripes beneath the meat and kimchi. You'll wonder why she doesn't remember that rice is the most popular food in the world. There will be times when the climbing bars are too high, the run is too fast and far, the game isn't one you can really ever play. I don't want him on our team. You can watch. Maybe you can have a turn later. There will be times when the world feels like a place that you're standing all the way outside of. All that stands beside you is your own brave self, steady as steel and ready, even though you don't yet know what you're ready for. There will be times when you walk into a room and no one there is quite like you until the day you begin to share your stories. My name is Angelina, and I spent my whole summer with my little sister. You tell the class, your voice stronger than it was a minute ago, reading books and telling stories. And even though we were right on our block, it was like we got to go everywhere. Your name is like my sister's, Rigoberto says. Her name is Angelina too. And all at once, in the room where no one else is quite like you, the world opens itself up a little wider to make some space for you. This is the day you begin to find the places inside your laughter and your lunches, your books 
your travels, and your stories, where every new friend has something a little like you and something else so fabulously not quite like you at all. I think this is one of my favorite kids books. It's really pretty and I really enjoyed reading it to you and I hope you enjoyed it too.